Governor Bashir made the announcement at yesterday's news conference that all non essential businesses would be forced to close by the end of the day today. That includes hair and nail salons. LEX 18's Eleanor Buckley spoke to some people at these businesses. The nail industry, it's it's a very intimate service. On any given day, Kim Juan, owner of the nail shop in Brandon Crossings, has dozens of clients getting manicures and pedicures. We're kept pretty busy and sometimes we can have an upwards of 30 to 40 people in the space at once and I just knew that it wasn't dying down. And Kim knew having that many people in one space wasn't safe. So on Sunday, she made the difficult decision to close. This was before the governor mandated the closure, but she said ultimately keeping her clients and staff healthy was much more important. Make money or keep spreading this virus. It's either do it now, and I knew we were going to be forced to do it eventually, so do it now on our own accord or be forced to do it eventually. She feels awful for her employees, many of which will not be able to receive unemployment because they are considered contracted employees, she says. And to make matters worse, many are immigrants and are supporting relatives overseas. I just don't think people realize the severity of the situation as a whole. Um, it's, it's just this domino effect of taking income from one person and how it affects another person and then another person and another person. And she isn't alone. Blow Hair Salon in the Summit is also forced to temporarily close. Owner Michelle Krenz says her employees will be able to receive unemployment though, which she is grateful for. It's such a scary, scary time and this is such a terrifying virus that I just really think it was in the best interest of the people of the Commonwealth to close these front facing businesses to try to slow the spread of the virus and flatten the curve. Right now, both of these businesses face uncertainty, but hope to be back in business soon. Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.